In this video help file we're going to look at animation techniques in Scratch 2. So uh, let's have a look at a few simple ones. First of all, probably the easiest way to do this is to find a character such as the ballerina here and import the character into Scratch and have a look at all of the pre-made um, costumes that that character has got and just use those. All right, so that's the simplest way of creating an animation. You can see I could just do it between those two. And I've got blocks of code that I could use to move those backwards and forwards between them, either in a sequence or in a loop, which would probably be the easiest way. Okay, a uh, second way is to use something like uh, a an object here. If we want to make that object look like it's bouncing up and down. Okay, so we've got the ball here. Um, and what I'll do is at the moment if I click here you'll see that the center of the costume of the ball is right in the center now if I click duplicate that costume and so I've got a second ball and notice it just gives it an extra number on the end of the duplication of the costume and then I just change the center of this maybe I change it to be slightly higher above Okay, and so now if I play those two, can you see they're going to go between one and another? So that's great if you want something to look like it's bouncing up and down or moving. Okay, that's one other way of doing that, using an animation. Um, and there is also a more complex way of doing things, and we're going to have a look using Avery here. So the Avery costume is quite a nice one. Maybe we want her to uh, nod uh, her head in a second costume so I'm first of all just going to get rid of this one I, I, we could leave it there if we wanted to but and I'm just going to call this nod because it's quite nice to name it what it's going to do okay or I might call that nod one okay uh, now the problem we have at the moment is we don't have the tools in here to really do this so what we're going to do is zoom it in and we're going to convert this to a bitmap. Now it loses some of the quality of the picture when you do that, so that can be a bit of a problem. So we've converted it to a bitmap, and then over here we have this little select tool. All right, now I, I want to keep this first one exactly as it is, so in fact I want to leave that one. Right click and duplicate. So I've got the second one, so I've got the ordinary picture exactly as she is, and here's a pic second picture. Now I can collect the select tool, Okay, drag around the bit that I want to actually move. Okay, and can you see there's a little rotation up the top here so I can nod her head a little bit, move it across. I can pick the whole thing up and just drag it. Now can you see it's created a little bit of a problem in there in that she's now got a sort of sliced off neck and we've lost her finger as well. Okay, uh, at this point what I can do Okay, to fix that as I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and I can use the paint brush tool. I can drag this down to the smallest possible paintbrush I can get. I can use the little color pickup color um, one here. So it enable me to choose her flesh tone. And then with my paintbrush, I can just ever so carefully. Can you see I can just draw in those bits? All right, I might decide to actually rub out some of Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and you see I'm really getting into the pixel level here, and I'm just going to take off the end of a finger as well. Okay, put that in there. All right, and I might also decide to make a finger look like it's a little bit more bent over, so I'm going to use that color chooser again, and this time go and find the black there. Okay, and make that smallest possible uh, finger here, and just there we go. All right, oh, I tell you what, I might just delete that last little bit there. So let's use a ruler, ru rubber, <laughs> an eraser, the Americans called it. Okay, and let's, there we go. I've just deleted a little bit down there. Right, let's see what that looks like. There we go. So, can you see now I've got picture one and picture two? and I could now go and adjust those. But notice the difference in quality, okay, um, by making it into this bitmap, so you do lose something in that. 
By the way, Scratch 3 is a slightly better way of doing that, but that's another video. I hope this helped.